man, I'm freaking out right now. This is crazy. Next. These are magic cards. What's up guys, it's Jason Thrift Trader and today we are going through several abandoned mystery boxes that we have pulled out of storage units and set aside in the back of my shop for over a year. If you haven't, subscribe. Make sure to click the bell so that you get notifications when we post new videos. Also, leave a comment down below with some love because we really enjoy reading your comments. Hit the thumbs up button and tell a friend about us helps us tremendously if you want to benefit this channel tell a friend about us you guys will want to stay till the end of the video because we had an unsuspected visitor at the warehouse all right guys here we go box number one so let's see what we might have in here all these boxes have been stuck in the back of my shop for over a year now so it's time we go through them and get rid of this stuff. That's cute. So this little guy will likely just be donated. Here's a Tigger. And uh, he's made 1994. That's really cool. What could possibly be in here? Nothing. But it's bead landing. So this will go in a crafting lock. Nice little keychain there. Creepy doll keychain. <laughs> have no idea about this guy. We have a wallet. An empty wallet. Top grain cowhide exterior. This is probably some kind of Disney character. Cat. Just a little basket. I'm guessing this stuff is for crafting of some sort. Stress ball. Old Sprite can. Marker. Basket, trash. This is a really interesting backpack. It's all leather. Looks older. This is interesting. I'll have to take a closer look at this. Here's a really nice messenger bag. Who's this made by? Tandem? Oh, it says Aspen. Look at that. Aspen. These look like push pins. Yep. It's a leather fanny pack. Somebody once told me that these are coming back in style. And this is just donation. Alright guys, next box. Let's see what we've got. Got bags of stuff. So this just looks like... Okay, Sony PlayStation controller. And... Sony PlayStation AC adapter. So we've got all of the cords for a PlayStation here. Let's see if we can find the PlayStation. Look at this, guys. There is a marking on it. I don't know if you can see that very well. You see that marking? Let me know if you have... I think it goes this way. Let me know if you know what that little marking right there means. This looks like carnival glass. Pretty interesting. Very pretty. I don't know. Might be worth something. Okay. And this looks like it's all stuff for Xbox. We got like four Xbox controllers in here, guys. So maybe we'll find an Xbox. Audio box USB. This is for pretty much for re audio recording on your PC. Close quarters battle kit. Assembly instructions for Alpha CQB 3 point tactical sling. So that's a uh, tactical sling for a gun. This is really 
Interesting. Okay, so it's got some kind of signature and it's a pottery vase. That's really pretty. Pentax focusing screen. Probably something for cameras. And this is pretty interesting. Look, it's a Simpsons throw, throw blanket. That's really cool. There's Bart. <laughs> That's really neat. 2001 Fox. All right, guys, next box. We've got loads of CDs here. Some of them are burned CDs, some of them are good. More CDs here, it looks like. Yeah, got more CDs. Purse, is this anything fancy? Liz Claiborne, what about this one? Uh, no name, I like how it opens up though. That's a hoodie, Fade of Glory, that'll be donation. This right here will be donation as well, Old Navy. These will be donation, and it looks like Really, the majority of this is clothing. Echo, donation, and donation. Jacket, jacket, these are donation. This, I think this whole box pretty much is donation. So there you have it. All right, next box. Okay, this is likely a clarinet. There it is. We might be missing a piece or two. <laughs> That's cool though. This is some dusty stuff, man. Okay, this will be donation. This will also be donation. Old bags though. Donation. It's a duffel bag. Donation. This will be trash. There's something in this one. Oh wow. Look at this. Little Christmas toys in there. So I'll make a little Christmas lot. Some of these look to be vintage. And these will go in it. Wow. Look at this, guys. A little X-Men uh, X-Men pack looks like there's a little football a figurine a pen and uh, a couple of bookmarks that's pretty neat Christmas 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 and the rest of it is also Christmas all right here we go that's donation somebody worked really hard on this uh, scarf Looks like either that or maybe a table runner. But donation. Is that a speaker? I'll probably give this to my mom. It's an OU vase. She would really enjoy that. Looks like uh, some really nice home decor stuff. This will go in a home decor lot in our auction. Some more home decor. This looks like uh, it's a set of three, but I only see two of them. These are candle holders. Don't have a clue, but he's he's cute. Here's the third one, right here. That's kind of like Harry Potter colors, isn't it? This will go donation. Donation. Ah, stationary lot. Our last one did really well. Uh, these are old, vintage, and we'll just start making another lot. These are donation. We sold a few of these in our last auction. I'll just start making a lot of trading cards, and we'll do it again. Well, that's neat. It's a uh, black cat and a pumpkin. I don't know if anybody would even have any use for these. These might be donation. This is signed. Don't know if it's worth anything really. It's just a coffee mug, but uh, we'll just set it aside. Maybe I'll do some research. All right, let's see what's in here. More Christmas stuff. This is straight from Hobby Lobby. Look at that, guys. Really pretty. It might be some kind of pin cushion. I don't know. Oh, it's just a handmade ornament. The far side, these are note pages. So these would go really good in stationery. And these, these are really pieces of art. They're just cards. Dunn, Connor, Fort, Jim Fitzpatrick, 1990. These could be worth something, who knows? Oh wow, here's more postcards. These are both from Disneyland. Very cool. I'll make a postcard lot. And this is, uh, looks like a book of runes and has the rune bag and the runes to go with it. One dozen industrial work gloves. I might keep these for myself. And now these. This is a lighted crystal gift with velvet base. Looks like a uh, horse and another one just like it right here. And then we have ceramic gold spaceman robot bank. That's interesting. If one wasn't enough, how about a second one? All right. 
Looks like shoes galore, guys. These are some older style women's boots. Some more boots. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these yet. Nine West booties. That's what they call these little ankle boots. So I think a lot of these will go donation. Women's shoes again. Some nice, uh, nice women's boots here. And a pair of women's cowboy boots. These are Panhandle Slim. Or I should say women's cowgirl boots. These have seen some better days, but they still got life in them too. That was a fast box. All right guys, next box. This box is huge. So let's see what we've got in here. This looks like a leather OU Pride of Oklahoma marching band. So this is a, uh, a leather uniform carrying bag. That's cool. Got some sewing patterns here and tracing paper. And this right here looks like it's plumb full of, what is this? Okay, so she was working on this. Looks like a dress. Wow. Tons of fabric. Just loads and loads of fabric in here, guys. Old vintage fabric, too. Look at that. That's beautiful. Here's more. This whole bag right here is fabric, so I'm going to pull this out. Cool. Oh, wow. This is really pretty stuff. More fabric here, guys. This whole bag. More fabric in here. You can see it. This is even more fabric. This might actually be a bed a bed set. I'm not sure. This right here could be a bed set. This is a blanket. This stuff can be money depending on what it is. Classic traditions. 200 thread count. Pretty nice. Full fitted sheet. And here's the full flat sheet that goes with it. That's kind of nice. Two standard pillowcases. Uh, here's the standard pillowcases for the blue set. And then here's a full fitted sheet and a full flat sheet it looks like. So cool. We have two full bed sets. All right, guys, another very large box here. Let's start digging through it. Okay. That looks like, okay, it's just a shelf. A dove. I'm an angel in disguise. This is a Christmas stocking, so I'll put this in. Christmas lot. Really interesting doll. She'll probably go in donation. Uh, D Blossom Collection. Uh, some women's boots. Looks like we've got a DVD player. Another bird. <laughs> Here's a third bird. We're gonna have a whole flock of birds in here. Wow. Fourth bird. These are really pretty. Uh, home decor. Pretty kitty accessory kit. So this is just a uh, Halloween costume. There's a couple more nice little shells here. This is for burning candles, Christmas. A couple more pieces of home decor. A couple more pieces of home decor. Here's a pair of women's boots. Here's a couple of uh, seat cushions. This is a nice, looks like a leather jacket from Steve Madden. This is a nice leather jacket, guys. Look at that. That might go in the auction. And lastly, another pair of boots for women. All right, guys, here we go. Now, this looks interesting. Let me get this back in the shot here. Check this out, guys. All right. Uh, Boyd's Bears and Friends, the Folkstone Collection. So this is probably a Boyd's Bears. I don't want to pull it out. We already know what it is. Boyd's Bears. This says Trick or Treat Happy Halloween. That does not look like a Halloween thing. That's Christmas. It's a Christmas... Uh, Probably a candle, candle thing. That's cool. Uh, Reed and Barton, Reed and Barton Millennium Ornament. Pretty neat. Harmony Kingdom, the original box figurine. Uh, wow, look at this. That's pretty amazing. Part just like that. Charm box. That's really pretty. Uh, this says uh, Kim Anderson's Pretty as a Picture by Inesco. So I'm not sure. It's probably a figurine. I almost don't want to open it because it's never been opened. So we got one, two, three of these. Small box here. Porcelain hinged box. It's a little Hershey's porcelain hinged box. And we've got another Boyd's Bears. I don't know if these are worth anything at all. I have no clue. It's another Boyd's Bears. Avon gift collection. 
right here. Noah's Ark treasure box. That's what that would be. And then lastly, guys, this is Wildcats Covert Action Teams. Look at that. Spartan versus Hellspot. That is really cool. What year is this? Copyright 1995, guys. I was 10 years old when this came out. That is so cool. All right, guys, and obviously, I wanted to save this box for last because if this box has what this says in it, we could be looking at a bunch of money. So let's take a look. <laughs> Man, I'm freaking out right now. This is crazy. All right, let's, wow, 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 wow. Holy crap. Okay, start on this end first. Okay. <clears throat> wow. So these aren't magic. These are Star Trek. Oh, there's more than just Star Trek. Okay, so we've got Star Trek. We've got Hercules. We've got Terminator. Oh, wow. Um, let's see. These are all still Terminator. Um, this is Batman. Wow, this is amazing. I'm not sure who these are. The Max? MTV, I think? What are these? Gen Con? Don't know. Let's see if the back says anything on these. Legend of the Five Rings. That's what that says. These look like Marvel. That is so cool. Yeah, Marvel. So we got a bunch of Marvel in here. This is like just random stuff in here. I don't know if any of these would be worth anything. Let me just scoot back here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look. There's all the card packs. That's crazy. Okay, so this is Fox. Fox TV. This is all Fox. Pinky and the Brain. Animaniacs here. Wow. Uh, Wild Storms. Wild Cats. Wow. Okay. So that's what's in there. We gotta keep going. We've got a few more to look through. Okay. What's in this one? Those are magic cards. Holy cow. Alright. Wow. And I'll have to see. So these are copyright 1997. So these are they're not alpha or beta, and it doesn't look like all of them are magic. Let's let's keep looking. Um, have no idea what game that is. Um, this is Shadow Fist. Uh, don't have a clue what game this is. This is Illuminati. Um, this just says W. Copyright US games. I don't know. I'm at a loss. And that's all the W's. So that's cool. That's really cool. Alright. Book two down. Moving on to book three. Okay. This looks like it's more Marvel. I'm just. Doc Samson? I don't know. Cyclops? Yeah, these are all Marvel so far. X-Men. Bullseye. Kale, or Cable. Oh, wow. These are amazing.
That's cool. Next, these are magic cards. I'm kind of at a loss for words. Uh, these don't have a copyright date and they're white border. I think that's unlimited edition. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to do some more digging. Uh, copyright 93 on this one as far as the illustration. This could be huge money. Wow. And they're all like this. And who the heck knows? I could I could end up with like a black lotus. I'm gonna have to really pay attention to this. This is incredible. And it looks like she was creating a whole a whole set or trying to because let me get to one of those spots. Like right here. Swords to file shares. So She's missing that card. I'm going to have to look this up a lot closer. I'll probably make a whole video over just this. Here we go. Holy moly. Holy moly. Alright. Again, she was trying to collect these. These are incredible. These are absolutely incredible. So many magic cards here, and they're in perfect condition. She probably just unpacked them right out of the booster pack and tossed them in this sleeve. Last one, guys. Wow. These are all magic cards, guys. Every single one of these. Incredible. So much, so much in the magic together. What's in here? Oh wow, these are even more, these are even more cards. This one's got a $25 price tag on it. That's incredible. All right, I'm gonna have to do some more research on these and I'll probably make a video on all of these cards. Holy crap. A bird just flew into the shop here. We gotta get him out. Come here. Are you stuck inside this? I've got this piece of cardboard up here to block the window. Where is he? There he is. Come here, little fella. Oh, don't bite me. You're fine. Ow, ow, ow. You're fine. Holy cow. I gotcha. Oh, looky there. It's a little birdie. Don't bite me. <laughs> You're a cute little fella. Holy cow. Wanna we'll say hi? Alright, go. Bye forever. <laughs>